winning one championship after the next, there was always excitement and enthusiasm there. So when I went into the gym, I put my gym bag down and I immediately attacked the weights. Don't listen to the naysayers, because there's always people out there that will tell you that you will not be able to do that, forget it. It's a stupid dream that you have, or a, a crazy vision and those. Don't listen to the naysayers. Well, for me, the most important thing always is to have a deadline. Uh, so uh, when I, for instance, uh, had a competition, and let's say the competition was in the middle of September, and it was now beginning of summer, so there was no more time to screw around. So there was the time now to get uh, going on a diet, to get going with the training, to not slack off at all because there was a deadline there. The other thing is, is that you get to work your butt off. Um, if you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it was in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. So there's another rule that is uh, very important. Look, everyone has a problem with time. But the day is 24 hours and we sleep six. Now, I know there's some out there that say, whoa, 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 I need eight. But I say, just sleep a little faster. Because the bottom line is we have six hours of sleep, 24 hours are available, so you have 18 hours now available to your work, your family, your hobbies, and also to learn something new or to do something new, which could easily be that you want to learn a new language or that you want to read and as a, you know, a New Year's resolution I have to read a book every week or, or you say, I'm going to go and reshape my body. So you're going to go and take this hour out of your schedule and say, I'm going to train an hour every day. So this is for most people a, a huge challenge, but it is totally doable, I can tell them, because the kind of things that I did when I came to this country. I mean, I went to school, I was working in construction. I was working out my five hours a day. I was taking acting classes from eight o'clock at night to 12 midnight. I was doing all of those things. I wanted to make sure that out of the 24 hours of the day, that I don't waste one single hour. Those hours were too precious. Don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how far can you fall? Because if you're afraid to fail, then you're always holding yourself back because you're afraid that if you go all out, you may fail. Don't give me this thing, I have a difficult time with the time and I don't have time for this and I don't have that. You have time, you make the time. When the President of the United States has time to work out, when the Pope has time to work out, then you have time to work out. Yes, you were tired. Yes, I had to come back for the second workout at night. But so what? Yeah. I think the biggest mistake is that you go to the gym and you go through the motion, but you don't really have your mind inside the muscle. The other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big then you're gonna go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, uh, for the stars. Go on motivationforever.com for more motivation.